You see how fast that is? What is up folks, it's your man Jay, and I'm back with another video. So this is another video um, from my brand new Sony ZV-1. So I wanna cover some things. Uh, obviously I'm sitting in the car, I was doing a car vlog, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot a video with the camera again. Um, so I wanna cover some things that um, I did, a, I posted a video originally, uh, my unboxing and first impressions of it. Uh, I'm using the tripod. I'm using the camera, and I'm just I just have it posted up, which this is great. Um, but the skin smoothing thing, I want to thank you guys for um, showing me how to turn that off. Well, basically informing me to turn it off, because what happened is in that initial video, skin smoothing was on when I was comparing it next to my uh, Sony A6100 with the Sigma lens. Now let's be clear here. This camera cannot compete with the A6100 coupled with the 60, 60, uh, the 60 millimeter lens. It's not happening. I clearly stated that in the video. I do not think it will ever match that because it's just not there. You know, like having the blurred background is just not as strong and I'm not that much in the foreground. foreground. However, I will say this. This camera, if you're wondering, it's totally worth it. Um, and, and worth depends on the person holding the device. Some of you guys might say, oh, it's no way I'm paying $750. You know, that tripod you have it on was another $140. Um, I could get a mirrorless camera and another lens. I agree with you. I don't disagree. But I already have those things. So with that said, when it comes to uh, a vlogging setup, this setup is much better than the A6100 with the 16 millimeter lens. Now, I remember my initial unboxing of that video of of this right here. Or I was no, no, I, I was talking about this camera before I had it uh, several days ago, and I remember technically T saying that the 6100 with the Sigma lens or the Sigma lens itself is not heavy, and I just explained, you know, that's it's heavy to me, you know, and the reason it's heavy to me is because for one, I didn't have this this camera uh, rig, this tripod. Uh, I have a metal tripod, but I have a mini tabletop mini tripod that I use when recording videos in certain areas. And then I also have a grip tripod, one that folds around. Either way, I think that the 16 millimeter lens on the 6100 is way too heavy to vlog with. And it's like three times the size of this setup. So that is the reason that Sony has this setup. Now this is the equivalent of a 24 millimeter lens, but it is not like my Canon 24 millimeter lens. This has a crop, but as you can see, I'm less than an arm's length away, uh, and it's still got a crop, but you really can't tell the difference. It's actually really, really solid. So it, when I turn the recording off, it pops back out a little bit to show you the actual crop, but once you start recording, you shouldn't have a problem holding this thing at length, no matter how long your arms are. It is a 24 millimeter uh, equivalent of a 24 millimeter, but it's better for like I, can't, I wish I still had my 24 millimeter lens to show you an actual um, example of that. But I can shoot 24 millimeters on here at 4K or 1080p, and this video is in 1080p. Whether it's 1080p or 4K, I actually like to shoot in 4K for all my footage. Uh, but you know, because my Sony A6100, the sensors coupled with that Sigma lens, it is just the most it's just the best setup for me for at home vlogging on the go vlogging folks. I still say that you should consider the GoPro hero eight black, uh, because it's more versatile. Um, you know, you don't have a crop on it. You can do 4k 60, uh, you have ultra super wide or whatever. Uh, but this camera though, for, for those that don't want to get a GoPro, uh, but, this camera is totally worth the money for those people that don't want to mess with a mirrorless camera or DSLR because it's compact. You don't have to get this tripod, but I recommend you do. Um, I, I believe in just kind of keeping it all in the family, if you will. Um, you don't have to get this tripod if you don't want to. Uh, but what I would tell you is that this camera set up for vlogs... It's hot, folks. I mean, and this is like the perfect setup for doing vlogs. The the thing that Sony put out, and 
it's not all roses though you know i mean i don't like that the lens is the the um the screen is on the side now because that just reminds me so much of my canon and um it's not a bad thing i'm just used to my camera flipping up it sounds strange but i have a shotgun mic i can plug in the side uh and that's just what it is i'm just used to that now i very well could put the shot cam gun mic on the side of this camera and plug it in because the the mic is on the other side of the camera and the screen is on this side so um i don't know i, I think that this camera setup man for vlogs it's fire if you're a person that just wants to get on camera and you're going to run your especially the product thing the product showing products let me let me get something to hold up here i should be able to just turn that on let me see product show Let's see if I turned it on right. The auto look at that. That is fast. That is fast, and the eye tracking on this thing is incredible. Do you see how fast that is? That's incredible. There's, there's. I don't know of any, any. Um, you just turn off product show by hitting the delete button. I don't know of any other cameras. That are putting it down like that I, I just don't this setup while it is pricey um if you have an educator's discount you, you could have gotten this from bnh for 600 bucks um and then the tripod it's like 110 or something like that i'm not really sure i looked on there uh but even if you don't have an educator's discount man if you're looking to vlog i they, they give you the wind filters i turned on wind reduction for this recording too and i have the wind filter on there so in the camera it was off by default uh, and i turned on the wind filter on the phone on the camera and i put the wind filter on there to see just how well this audio could possibly be or how good it can do um but man i i'm just surprised at this this camera the footage that you get man it's incredible all right so i decided to go ahead and, and come back in um uh, wow this thing is beautiful man all right, guys, so in order to do unlimited 4K recording, set your auto power off to high. Right now, mine was set to standard, which is the default, which will shut the camera off uh, at 5 to 10 minutes of 4K recording. So at, at the recording of this video, I didn't know that. Uh, and then I played with the settings, and I found auto shut off was to standard. So put it to high, and you can shoot 4K footage all you want. And that's that. I think this will be good. I'm back in the house now because out in the car it was super hot and it kept shutting off. It shut off twice on me. But um, what do you think about the quality coming from this camera? Now, all of you guys won't get those heating issues and you won't get, you know, you, some of you guys are going to quickly say it's not worth it. Remember, worth is something to the person holding it. Just remember that. I think this setup is sweet. And maybe I'm a little bit more lenient because I do have the A6100 and the Sigma lens. And so I know if I do need to do extended vlogs, I can. And I have a GoPro Hero 8 black. I have a Hero 7 black. I have options and still have this. Still have it. So maybe I'm a little too lenient because I have options. And a lot of you guys don't have those options. Having three, dollars $4,000 worth of camera equipment... And, you know, maybe I'm not being realistic, but I like this camera setup. I really do. And I'm going to use it for vlogs. It's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. The Sony ZV-1 is fire.